Good morning, guys. It's early Monday morning, and I hope that you had a good night's rest after a good Lord's Day yesterday. I uh, enjoyed the time at the church yesterday. I felt like the worship time was really good, and I got to teach and preach through some of my favorite passages, and I hope that it was a blessing to you. Hopefully, you were able to join us online. We did offer something new yesterday, and that was that um, people that don't have internet access were able to uh, use their uh, use their cell phone or a landline to call in to our service, and so I hope that that was a blessing to some folks as well. So this coronavirus thing keeps continues to kind of grind along, and uh, I just want you to know that I think of you and pray for you daily, and we're doing everything that we can to help you be blessed in the Lord and to feel a sense of community even while we're not able to gather. So it's Monday and today we'll be working out of our In Pursuit of Jesus devotion and today we are on day 11. So we'll do day 11 today. You'll do day 12 on your own tomorrow. Wednesday we'll do day 13 and then by Friday, which is Good Friday, we'll be on day 15 and we'll have completed the book. And by the way, uh, we will be doing a Wednesday evening service live on Facebook and YouTube at 6.30 on Wednesday. We'll be doing a Good Friday service from the Sanctuary of Wayne Dale Baptist Church Friday evening at 6.30. And so I'm excited about both of those opportunities to be with you, even if only in the digital form. So today, as I mentioned, we're on day 11, and the title of today's devotion is Washed Clean. In Jeremiah chapter 2, which is kind of an interesting place to find ourselves in, a, in an Easter devotion, but throughout the, those uh, exilic prophets like Ezekiel and Jeremiah, over and over and over, they tell us about the coming of Jesus. And so, Today, for time's sake, we're only going to read verses 20 through 22 out of Jeremiah 2. And Jeremiah is writing the words of God himself, and he says, For long ago I broke your yoke and tore off your bonds, but you said, I will not serve. For on every high hill and under every green tree you have lain, you have lain down as a harlot. Yet I planted you a choice vine, a completely faithful seed. How then have you turned yourself before me into the degenerate shoots of a foreign vine? Although you wash yourself with lye and use much soap, the stain of your iniquity is before me, declares the Lord God. So as I read that passage the other day, I was reminded I have been washing my hands, I don't know, it seems like 50 times a day since... Uh, this coronavirus thing started, and they're they're dry and chapped and sore. And the good news is that the doctors tell us that when we wash our hands with soap, that we can wash away that virus and uh, continue to be healthy. But you know, the fact of it is, is with our sins, we can wash and wash and wash all we want, and we can't wash them away. I said in the sermon yesterday morning, and I'll say it again today, uh, nothing but the blood of Jesus can wash away our sins. The work that he did for the cross. And we, we saw that there in Mark chapter 14 in the sermon yesterday where Jesus instituted this new covenant in his blood. And if it was not for that covenant that was, that was laying by the shed blood of Jesus on Calvary, there's nothing that we could do with the, say, the stain of sin in our lives. Throughout the Bible, God tells us the the truth that though we are as scarlet, our sin has stained us like grape juice on a white cloth. Though we are as, as scarlet, the blood of Jesus makes us white as snow, washes us perfectly clean. So another verse I wanted to point out to you, if you notice uh, on the left-hand page of your devotion for today, it mentions 1 John chapter 1, verse 7, and it's always, the letter of 1 John has always been one of my favorites, but he's talking about Jesus and our relationship with him. In verse 6, he says, if we say that we have fellowship with him, yet walk in the darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. 
But if we walk in the light, as he himself is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, his Son, cleanses us from all sin. So it's the Passion Week. In just a few days, a handful of days, it'll be Good Friday. Throughout this week, we observe uh, sort of those stations that Jesus walked through in his last week of earthly ministry. And as we do, we can see him ministering the truth that man has a, has a virus. Yes, we have the coronavirus, but even greater than that, we have the sin virus. But only Jesus is the antidote. And so to Wayne Dale Baptist Church folks, I want you to, I want you to really deep, look deep into your heart and just see what God has done there. If he has washed you white as snow, then praise the Lord. But if you ask God to reveal what's in your heart and he shows you any semblance of stain that remains, call upon the name of Jesus. Remember, Romans chapter 10 says, if we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus, and if we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus and believe with our heart that God raised him from the dead, we shall be saved, washed white as snow. How's that for good news on a Monday morning? I love you. I will see you back here Wednesday morning, and then I'll see you in midweek service uh, via Facebook Live and YouTube Live on Wednesday evening. God bless you. Have a great day.